10 16 a.m. My allergies are kicking in for my dog. So I'm gonna be sneezing a lot probably. Anyhow, this this video I should start doing sponsorship for my incredibly popular videos. So this video is sponsored by Acme dog food get your elbow okay <clears throat> so I um, previously had just sewed some of these cradled wood panels and I put two coats on and I've got a stack of them back there right here and uh, there are a whole bunch of paintings I should like I'm half part way through and then here I am starting something new I just needed to uh, just do something without thinking too much and it's either going to be kind of a woman or landscape <laughs> or a woman and a landscape. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, let me switch to the top down view. Here we go. So I got, I got everything ready, which is kind of nice. So I got a set of pencils, a pencil sharpener. I got the Prismacolor markers. I got all my paintbrushes. There's so many. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six jars of paintbrushes. I got my water over here. And the big thing for me is I finally got some acrylics because I'm about to start a big painting, which is a commission. And I. Uh, it's way overdue, so I didn't. I'm gonna do an acrylics instead of oils because oils will take months to dry, and I want to do this and get it off to them sooner. So I went and bit the bit the bullet and got about I don't know. This is I think this is like about seven hundred dollars worth of paint, something like that. So I had to go and bite the bullet, like I said. But the nice thing is now I got lots of acrylic to work with. And uh, for these ones, I, I barely can use need to do any paints at all. Oh, let me just make sure that I'm online here. Okay, I'm just gonna refresh this page. Can't find supported enable channels. That's not good. Let me just try. I'm checking for the multi-stream chat thing. Click that button. Open open in browser. And uh, yes, yeah, so, okay, it looks like it's working. All right. Okay, okay. So, what the hell am I going to do? One approach I'm thinking is I'll sketch something out first, maybe draw it with some Prismacolor, and maybe do a wash of, of like a base color and then paint on top of it. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So, the only question is what I'm going to do. Do I feel like doing like a landscape and just make it up? Or do I feel like doing a person? Or do I want to do some sort of magically fantasy kind of thing? I kind of... Whew, what should I do? Maybe it's just going to be magically fantasy. Maybe. I kind of I kind of want to do something like Gauguin's Tahiti Women. I don't know if you guys know that. I like Gauguin's style. Well, I have a pencil in my hand. Maybe I'll zoom in a bit. Hold on. Let me go to my zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. All right. So, what should I do? What should I do? Hmm. What are you going to be painting? What are you going to turn into? Some magically thing? Are you going to be... Wait, I kind of see some stuff. I see some things. I can see also... I'm just looking at a painting. Some of my paintings are here and the colors are going to... I can maybe... Skies coming out over here. Which is, ah, That's kind of boring. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe what if it's like this? Water. 
land, sky. Like what if what if it's like that? Water, land, and then sky. I could do something like that. You probably can't see it because I used I used it really faint. This pencil. Well, that's kind of boring. That's kind of boring. I know. Let me blow my nose. <clears throat> that's what I'll do. Right, Nugget? <laughs> yeah, let me talk to my dog for a second. Let's talk to my dog. Maybe she'll give me some inspiration. Hi, baby. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, my little princess. Look how cute you are. I don't know if you can see this thing. It's so cute. You are so cute. Yes, you are. Oh, you slipping? You slipping? Nugget, what am I going to paint? What am I going to paint? I need some ideas. What am I going to do? <laughs> All right. That didn't help. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, maybe I will go with this thing. Maybe I will go with this kind of approach. <clears throat> the land, the bottom part is not too exciting. Hmm. Hey, autistic bot. Yeah, I'm back on YouTube, man. I got kicked off for three months, but they let me back on. Oh, it's so awesome. This is, autistic bot is a, a young guy who lives in India, which is kind of cool. Hmm, what are you going to be, little drawing? I don't know. What am I going to do? <sighs> I need to go in a bit of a zone here. <clears throat> so let me do some of my old... My Taekwondo masters taught me the breathing techniques. <sighs> let me just try to zone out here. Tears are here. <laughs> Des West Mouse. What's <laughs> up, Des West Mouse? Yeah, I just needed to just chill for a minute. Just to... You still stream on to DLive? I think, yeah, I think I'm actually multi streaming right to DLive. I didn't even check, actually. <clears throat> actually, I couldn't. Uh, I, well, like I said, I got kicked off face, uh, YouTube for a couple months. And. Um, then my computer broke down, so I couldn't stream. And then last week, week or so, my internet was effed. But I'm back in business now. Okay. So short answer is yes. Back on DLive. It should be on DLive right now. All right. So what the hell? Am I going to do this landscape thing? Like, <clears throat> Maybe I could do... Okay. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. What if I did like... Yeah, what if I just did some sort of sky thing? But what's what's going to be on the bottom? What the fuck is going to be on the bottom? Okay, fuck it. Let's just let's just do this. Let's just uh, let's just start painting and shutting the hell up. All right, so let's do an undercoat, a wash of color. Now, this will be the first time I've done acrylic in like I don't even know, maybe a decade. No, that's not true. I think I did a couple paintings. An acrylic before I ran out of acrylic about six or seven years ago before I switched over to oils again okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do I don't know if you can see the sketch I did here let's see if I can I did it really light um, let me just turn off autofocus Beep. okay so what I got here is a horizon line it's like about a third 
you know, the rule of thirds, blah, blah, blah. And then maybe some clouds are going to be creeping up this way. And I don't know what the hell to do here. Maybe I'll keep it flat. Maybe keep it simple. But I... All right, less talking, more doing. All right. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to go put this really wet. Oh, it looks like blood. Looks like I got a bloody nose. Just, oh, man. Oh, weird. Look at the way it's... The, uh... Drying. It's drying with this strange pattern. That's interesting. Sadly, I can't paint with oil because it catches fungus due to the Indian's humid weather. That is interesting. You're saying that it's so humid where you are. In India, you can't use oil paint and fungus grows. That's bizarre. I've never heard of that. Um... Hmm. That's fungus. I, I always thought like oil, oils especially, is like a um pretty sterile because you mix it with turpentine. Oh, hey Cheryl, you mix it with turpentine. Huh. Where's that red? Well, maybe I didn't, so. I couldn't afford to get all the colors I wanted, and to be honest, I could only get like series one. I could only afford series one. I don't know if you guys know much about paint, but the way it works is they come in different series. So if you can see, where is it? Right there. See, so it says series one. They start at one, and they can go up to like. I think they typically go to like four, but I've seen other series that go higher, like five, and. The higher the series, the more expensive they are because the pigment's more rare. So I try to just use series one and then make my own. Because, like, you know, you could spend, I don't know how much these are. These are probably, like, 25 bucks each for this size of the cheapest one. Now, Golden is a, de is a decent professional brand. So I would recommend Golden as one of the two acrylic brands I get. Oh, fuck, look at that. Sorry, this is series nine. I was... Oh, look at this. So maybe I did splurge. Or, oh, I remember there was a sale. These were on sale. So I did go and I bought more than Series 1. So And, and sometimes you have to buy higher series because you just need those colors. So this is a Series 2 with this yellow. And this Series 9, look at it. So this, is, uh, this probably could have been, I don't even know, 40 bucks or something. But the price can get ridiculous. So I remember, uh, yeah, I got all those on sale. I think they're all about 30% off. And that's the way I usually buy my paint is I just sort of wait till wait till there's a decent sale and then kind of go nuts and then I'm set for a while. Okay, this is a this is less smooth than I was expecting. Oh, hi Jane. I'm going to blow my nose again. My allergies. Um interesting. So this is unexpected. Now, I don't know. Oh, it could have been because my gesso that I had was like at least a decade old. And I, I tried... Re I don't know where I put it. So it could be because my gesso was really old. Oh, I have, to make, I have to make one correction. I don't know if anyone who watched my last video where I was gessoing and I was talking about stretching canvases, John was watching and he correctly corrected me, which was... He corrected me on instant message, which was, I said that when you stretch a canvas, you start in the corners and go in, but he's totally right. You start from the middle, you pull these two sides as if this was a canvas on a, on a stretcher, then you pull these two sides, then you go th there, and then there, and then you finally go to the corners, and that's how you stretch it. Hello, Marlene. You must be French. Gagné. <laughs> Marlene Gagné. That sounds like a French name. French Canadian, maybe. Hello, my French Canadian friends. If you're in Montreal and you like video games, you should go to the Montreal Games Festival right now, MIGS. Oh, shit. I couldn't go this year, but I got lots of friends who are there. You got banned from... Yeah, I got you banned from YouTube. I kicked off because I was uh, I was watching. Check it. I, it's... 
the video was I was painting and for a little while I had uh I was watching Keel and P- Peel and Key like these two this comedian like sketch comedy guys and I was painting as I was watching it and the algorithm said that it was copyrighted material so even though it was like I was talking over it and laughing it and not even showing I wasn't showing it full screen it was like a reaction video they said uh nope you can't contest it you're banned 3 months and it was just I think it's because I'm a nobody YouTuber, no clout. So, because uh, there's thousands and thousands of reaction videos where they actually show it and people talking over it. So, it was really no different than that. But, uh, yeah. So, booted off YouTube. All right. This is just bizarre. Look at it. Okay, I'm going to make something of it. Eastern Township. Oh. French Canadian. I love French Canadians. French Canadians are awesome. I've got some French Canadian friends. In fact, some of my best friends are French Canadian. Well, we love to joke. But actually, this, this kind of, I have an unusually high number of French Canadian friends. I went to McGill, so that's part of it, but some of the guys I grew up with, some of the guys I know from the industry, my game, I'm in the game industry. Okay, so this is almost dry. I wonder if you can see it, the wetness on it. Yeah, you can see the shine there. All right, well. Oh yeah, I was gonna use Prismacolors. I just need it to get a little bit drier. Huh. Do you have a favorite color? Yeah, I got some favorite colors. I like I like blood red, I like royal blue. Those are my two kind of main favorite colors, but I like I like the combination of colors. You know. I was originally gonna do really something something different than like this just before I started I had a couple ideas and one of them much more pale and I was looking at some paintings by Ridon Odillon Ridon sure he's one of my favorite artists it's almost dry okay yeah so you can still see a little bit of wetness here so you can see when I did the gesso I didn't I didn't touch the sides I left the raw I think this is pine I don't know but it's decent quality I like the quality of this I bought all of them that I had I think there was about 10 of them and they had a ton more of the ones where they have like little nails in which I didn't get because I don't want the little nails on the side Okay, well, let's let's see what happens now. Let's see if I let's see what a um. Oh yeah, I can draw quite well over this. So let's just say that these. Do I want to? Let me grab this painting over here. Maybe I'll steal some ideas from this painting. I like that. That's kind of cool. That kind of glowing sun on the bottom. Maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll do something like that. I gotta put this. Where can I put this so that I can see it? Isn't that cool. That little weird kind of light <laughs> coming out of the bottom. Right. Maybe that's what. Maybe this is gonna be water. Okay. So if this is, if this is gonna be water. What? Hmm. What is it going to be? Water? Or is it going to be land? What do you think? Oh, so the thing with prism colors. On one side, there's usually a larger one, a larger size on one, and then on the other is usually a finer tip one. 
Oh, where? There we go. See the fine tip one? That's kind of neat. <sighs> what should be down here? Oh, maybe I could do go back to fantasy this and I could put like a woman in the ground here. I could do that. You know, I could have a just someone sitting here and this is like like that. Like this. Oh, it looks like she's uh got her elbow up and just enjoying the sunset. Okay, where's her hip? Where would her hip be? Think about this. Um how would her, how would your leg be? Okay. Well maybe she's like wrapped in a blanket. What the fuck is this thing? I don't even know. Okay. Where's her other arm? This is her shoulder and she's looking up here and here's her hair. Here's one arm holding herself up. She has to have here's her boob. Where's her other arm? Like this? Okay. Maybe that's maybe that's what's happening here. And is she on a beach? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Andrew Wyeth. I don't know, is she dead? This is just gorgeous. Is oh yeah, that was a, yeah. So that blue one here. Yeah, this is one of my paintings. I'm going to be doing a really large version of this for commission. So this one is only about what's that? About a foot and a half by two feet. And the bit the one I'm going to do. Kind of based on this, I'm not sure how much. They like this one, but they want a big one. So I'm going to be doing four by six feet. Okay, so we got we got a woman. We got a woman lying down. It just reminded me of Andrew Wyeth, who is this like a well-known American illustrator, painter. He used to paint this woman... This is what I want. I want to have like this beautiful woman in life that I can paint for the rest of my life. And that's what he did. I think her name was El Olga, I think. And she's a woman and she had like often more braids down and he would paint her all the time in like in fields and stuff. And this kind of reminds me a little bit of that one famous painting where she's dramatically posed at an angle at a weird like sitting up and there's grass everywhere and there's like a barn in the distance. You just Google Andrew Wyeth. You know what I'm talking about. All right, let's get to this. Let's stop screwing around. Let's just see what kind of stuff I can do here. Got some blue. What's this? Green gold. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Oh, I know I got white. I know I'm going to use lots of white, so I got this thing. And this thing was freaking expensive. God, I, I can't, it was like, like 40 or 50 bucks or something for like, like for me to buy just the white individually, it was even more expensive. So the only problem is it doesn't come in a tube. It comes in like a, uh, these things. So you know how it's like, you got to remove the uh, seal. So what I like to do is use up as much as I can. I'm going to use the paint that's on the, the top of the seal. And put that back. Okay, now let's get some brushes. Let's try some square brushes. And let's start laying down some, some colors. Like I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna have a sun. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what is. I don't know. Let's just uh, let's just bring in some stuff and things. Okay, is this gonna be green? <clears throat> Where is I almost put my I almost put my uh, paint in my coffee. Your time lapse videos are cool. Yeah, I've been thinking about killing all my live streams because it just takes too much. Uh, I'm I'm way less productive because like it took me like an hour to set this thing up 
believe it or not, just this one to do this live stream thing, an hour of my time. And I can't be spontaneous. I can't. It's like I think I'm way more creative and open when I'm when I'm not doing this live streaming. Uh, for example, one of the reasons why I haven't started that big one is I just it's so much. It's like I have to feel like I have to perform, and I'm, I'm killing my vibe, especially with the big paintings. That's what I mean. But anyway, you're making me want to be. Well, that's good. You should do it, Megan. Oh, is that Megan, my former student, Megan? I, because I can only see your name, Megan Rattan. That must, is that you, Megan? I teach a little bit at a college, and uh, every once in a while, I'll uh, chat with former students. It's probably my favorite thing about doing the teaching is is uh, I get to know some students and, you know, they're kind of young when they start off, but like years later, they're like fully in their careers and it's kind of cool to get to know them. And, uh, and f oh, right on. So Megan was a former, my you were at the program, God, was it about, you know, I don't even want to guess how many years ago. Was it like three years ago? God, I can't remember. And by the way, it's totally changed. It's totally changed up. We're doing something completely different now. The mod project's completely different. <clears throat> okay, what am I gonna do? Test. Maybe madness, your test was successful. Okay, so. I think. <laughs> was the chat not working before? Okay. All right. What kind of vibe are we going to go for? Am I going to keep this woman down here? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep her. Call her a message, but not send before. Yeah, weird. I don't know. Four, oh my god, four almost five years. Crazy. Here's something, Megan, check this out. For about sometime last year, yep, let's check the time. Sometime last year, there was, because um, I do multi streaming, so right now I'm also on D Live, which is another streaming thing. Anyhow, there was this person who was, who was chatting with me, who was following me when they're chatting away, and it turns out <laughs> she's at the same college. Yeah, right now I'm 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 live streaming to Twitch, D Live, Facebook, YouTube, and this thing called Pix PixArt or something, and and I use a service that does multi streaming all at once, and then all the chats come together. So I think yeah, so I think right here you can see all of the where is it right right here? There's a multi chat from all the different services. So you that's the only way you can see each other is if you're on my looking on my screen. But on my screen over here, I can see everybody. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll show you my desktop. Oh, my just computer just did the spinning wheel of death. Come on, spinning wheel of death. Huh. Okay, that was weird. Okay, so this is my desktop. And over here, this is my multi-chat, so I see all of your chats in one place, which is really convenient. And then for you guys, you, you see all the chats right here as they appear. Okay, isn't that exciting? All right. I think you should take a break, man. How do you even handle that shit? What? Handle what? Oh, let me just finish my story for Megan. One second. So anyhow... It turns out she's at the program in the animation stream, and I'm probably going to be teaching at some point. <laughs> Isn't that like one of the odds that was happening? She was following me for all this time, and we were talking away about art, and I don't even remember what we were talking about video games, probably. And then I don't know how we got on the topic, but that's that's so I don't know what her na real name is or or what she looks like. So, um, but that was kind of crazy. So it's a good thing I didn't like. <laughs> No, no, I, I don't have to do anything. The, the service, so I'm talking to Autistic Bot, the service is called Restream.io, and uh, 
it sends it. You pay a monthly fee, and you do one stream, which I'm doing now, and it sends it to all of them at once. And uh, it's just a way to, for me to experiment to see who might be interested in what I'm doing. Okay, what could this? I'm not sure if I'm going to keep her. But let's just see. Just don't, just don't accept affiliate on Twitch if you qualify. I don't even know what that is. I think is that like a part, some sort of partnership, where you have to be exclusive? I don't even know. Small world. That's great. You're still teaching. Yep, I teach. Uh, just the same as I did before, one day a week. And, uh, yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's always cool, like, the different people you get to meet. And I always get to just learn more stuff. Okay, this is interesting. Let me just, uh... Where do you teach? I don't understand how Twitch partnership works. It's against our terms of service for affiliates to do simultaneous casts. You can upload videos on demands after the platform. Or is it 24 hours? Eh, interesting. Where do you teach? Awesome. I teach at a Seneca College in Toronto. I'm not sure if I like this green. It's turning out to be too something. Okay. Huh. I'm kind of thinking blasting. Maybe yellows coming, exploding down. Let's try that. First, we need some. Hey, Rivanda. Hola, Lindo. I think Lindo means beautiful. I think uh, I think Rivenda always calls me beautiful. I think she must be mostly blind, but uh, she's always very complimentary. <laughs> Rivenda, I think, is in Italy, right? <sighs> Rivenda, Italiano. <laughs> I can speak more Japanese than I can speak Italian. Okay, let's see what this does. I need, oh, that's what I want. What if we had some kind of like, uh, hmm. I want to put a sun in here and have light coming down. Where's my painting? What did I do? It's really low on the horizon. That's interesting. I kind of like that. That's cool. It's like it's, it's 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 exploding just in that little spot. Should I steal that idea? It's just kind of like this little little pocket of color. Where is this? And is this going to be water? Should I make this water? Yeah, maybe I'll make it water. The word Linda is pretty in Spanish. Oh, okay, so Rivienda maybe is Spanish. See, what the hell do I know? Okay. I could make this water. Kill the woman. Not kill her, but like delete her from this new world. So I think I had, let me just, I'm going, what I'm doing is I'm looking at my painting over here. Stealing that little bit of cool light. So if I 
Okay, maybe I'm going to make a water. Whoa, so let's just do that. And then it doesn't make sense to have light bursting down. <clears throat> huh. Light is coming down. What do you do? Hmm. Oh, man, these allergies kill me. Um. Damn, I need to look at this painting more. Maybe I'll stick it up here somewhere. Let's see if it breaks anything. There we go. There we go. Now I can look at her. Oh, I see what I did. Lots of blue, dark blue here. Nor open here. Hmm. I think I might say goodbye to the woman. Should we keep the woman? Yeah, I know. That's what's cool about painting is you just do the tiny... You do a tiny little change, like especially like with the figures, you know, I could do a tiny little change here and it'll make it look like she's looking a different direction or, or whatever, or <sighs> do I want to keep her? And if I keep her, maybe I make this like ocean, right? And then she's on a beach kind of thing, right? So like the beach might start here. You know, it reminds me of, I did this painting here. Let me look at this. I did a painting. What the hell did I call it? Let me just go to my desktop. I'll go to my website. What did I call? I think I called it almost. Okay, I have to go to here. Uh, all works by latest. Search by latest because it wasn't too long ago. Okay. I speak some Japanese. Yeah. I used to speak f uh, probably at a, you know, intermediate conversation level because I lived there for a year but that was a long time ago now I could probably walk here it is this is the one so this is another one where I sort of just created up as I went and it has already here, let me make it bigger oops that doesn't help I make it bigger like this so that one is already a similar kind of vibe to it isn't it this just sort of evolved where there's a person just barely touching this other person. I called it almost. So this one sort of has a similar vibe. Yeah, yeah, maybe if I keep the character, it'll be, I could do more like these ones if people like them. But what just made me think of it was I created a beach with water. So maybe, maybe I'll do something like that. Maybe I'll keep her. Okay. Let me just close this down. Okay. On the other side, too, many decisions. Yeah, let's just see. Okay, so if this is a beach, let's just beach it up. Beach it up. Oh, and now i got to decide, is she, what's she going to be wearing? Is she going to be like nudie-woody? I'm going to do some naked women. Naked women, paint naked women. That would be the life, man. mic is gonna well I can't read here's the thing is I can't read uh, I could probably read that if I took my time because that's katakana uh, but it's been a long time and besides even if I could say it because that's katakana so it's gonna be an alpha it's gonna be phonetically um, I may not know what it means so what is it what does it say uh, if you just spell it out phonetically it's been too long I can't remember my katakana I'm I recognize a rue, maybe. I uh, forget. I, I, I recognize all those symbols. Basically, I also I learned um, I, the way I learned was mostly phonetically. I had a little notebook. When I learned a, um, a phrase, I would just write down it phonetically in my in my book, and that's how I memorized it. So I actually never. I'm not very good with written languages. 
for example, I can get by in a conversation of French, mostly uh, mostly um, comprehending, but I couldn't write French to save my life. I'm actually part of a little art group, and they're all French Canadians. <laughs> And I can understand like 95% of what they're saying, but I can't really reply back. She looks dreamy at the clouds. Yeah, it could be. I mean, that's kind of, here's the thing. That's kind of what I like about, about painting is that you could just do whatever, you know, and, and just see what happens. Half the time for me, it's just like, I'm not even, I'm, I'm just watching, I'm watching a hand do this stuff and i'm like observing like, oh that's kind of cool look what just happened it doesn't even feel like me it feels like it sometimes i get really into it and it's just like uh, it's i imagine it's like an out-of-body experience because i just i just go with the flow and that's why i'm i'm probably gonna do more paintings not on cameras because that way i can get into my zone and i can act weird and not <laughs> not feel like i'm being judged you know what i'm saying because I think uh, in normal in real life I'm pretty low key and I don't I don't like to draw attention to myself kind of thing, but when I get into my art mode, you know, it's like uh, that's my real time, that's my free time, that's my uh, the real me time. Can you watch Rock Sad? Stopped on it four months ago. Maybe you should try it. <laughs> Is that Dracomon? It's kind of funny. I have a, I got an Aikido gi in this. I was Dracumon. That's how I say my last name. Joshua Dracumon. Joshua Dracumon, son. Good you are. Good you are. Kinky desu ka? Kinky desu. All right. Now, hmm. Her arm looks like it's broke, broken backwards. And her hip, she needs to have more of a hip. I love hips. I love them. Okay. Where would her neck be? If this is her jawline, maybe I'll draw it. Oh man, I love these painting sessions. Weird artists entertaining her. Yep. See, the funny thing is, I don't feel it doesn't feel weird at all to me. It feels like a completely normal. But uh, ah, for fuck's sake, that's not showing up at all. What colors do I have here? Let's try. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's try this one. And Megan, you've been painting. You've been painting in tea. Is that is that? Am I right? Tea leaves or something? This might be too faint. Let's try something darker. Let's try this one. Where would? You, okay, so here, her ear, her ear might be here. Here's a jawline. Here's her head, and I guess if this is her elbow, maybe it would come out to like here probably. But her body is very, is much longer. And where would her? Her, her, her maybe it should be more flat. I think it would be more like this. I don't even know where the hell her hip is. Where's her hip? Maybe her knee legs up a bit. If that would be her leg, maybe it would should be. Whatever. <clears throat> Digital and oils, but I recently took up to two. Oh, cool. I know. Uh. Uh, I guess you probably wouldn't have met her. One of my uh, employees, former employees, uh, she was a game designer, but also an artist. And uh, her name is Shane. I don't know, Shane Song. I don't think you probably wouldn't have met her. Anyhow, 
She got, she got into t uh, tattooing too. Yeah, Megan, I think it's, it must be a different Megan. Actually, I could probably even find it right now. Oh, no, it's a different Megan. Another student as well, former student. Digital and oils, recently, yeah. <clears throat> I think I'd be a terrible tattooist. Fruit fly, get out of here. Okay, so maybe, maybe, let's do some big shapes. Let me just get out a bigger brush. Big brush. And just go like this. Yeah, oh my god, there's all kinds of colors I wish I could have gotten. The, uh, this, okay, I love cerulean blue. This is a nice color. It's a Series 7, so they ain't cheap. It's a beautiful blue. It almost looks like she's in the surf of the water because her body's so thin. That's interesting. I wonder if I should try to do that. Make it look like she's somehow in the water. That's kind of a cool idea. Now we're making sense. That's kind of a cool idea. She's in the water. Do you remember that scene from... Zoolander, where the two guys, um, Ben Stiller and I forget the other guy with the nose, they're, they're looking at the computer and they're saying the files are in the computer. And <laughs> they break it open. That was a funny movie. Okay. Get lost, fruit fly. Got some damn fruit flies. Freaking me out. I don't know where they're coming from. Place is clean. <clears throat> All right, it's time for some more coffee. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the colors are definitely uh, darkening more than I wanted to. So I'm going to have to probably go back over them, over them a couple times. Now, the question is, what do I... What do I want from this? Shit. Fuck balls. Oh, a lot of blue. It's starting to rain. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. 
could do could do something like that I could follow these lines and create some kind of like shape from the clouds like that Excuse me. <coughs> boy, oh boy. Try to figure out how the volume would look. The volume of the clouds, I mean. Like, is the light. I'm looking at my, what I did in my painting. I think I just made that shit up. I don't even know. I gotta go outside once in a while and see what the sky actually looks like. Allergies, woo, baby. <coughs> oh, I love sneezing. Do you love sneezing like I do? I love sneezing. Okay. La 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 la. Who's got some uh, antihistamines I could borrow? Okay, so yeah, sometimes it's fun. Not to, it cares if it's real or not. Uh, now the question is the top right hand corner do I want to go darker or lighter darker or lighter I don't know let's build up some texture here Wait a second, where the was down here? Yeah, I don't like the way it's darkening up as much. I want to keep some of that pigmentation color looks better. All right, let's bring back some cerulean. Hello, cerulean. You are a very nice color. Let me show you. Let me show you cerulean blue. Cerulean blue. This is kind of like the texture. I'm, I'm see if you can see it. Oh shit! I'm painting my coffee cup. Oops. No, I'm not sick at all. This is my allergies because my dog. I'm totally fine. Like I, it's just freaking. I'm blowing my nose constantly, and my eyes are watering constantly. That's just my life now. I'm not allergic to anything in the world except for my dog. Knock on wood, but I haven't been sick in years. If 
that I recall. Like like with a flu or a cold or anything. I just just uh been pretty lucky so far. What should we do with this guy? Yep. Now, here's my quick little story about allergies. So, I had another dog. Her name was Donut. And I was waiting years to get a dog. Years and years. And I finally did it. And I love this dog more than you can imagine. But I was massively allergic to her and which is shocking because like I said I've never been allergic to anything in my life she was gorgeous and I was probably I probably had her when I was teaching you did I don't know if you remember me sneezing a lot or blowing my nose a lot but that's because of my dog I think it was around the time because she died suddenly a few years ago and uh, it was a very sad event but I got another golden retriever and I thought you know what what are the odds I'll be allergic to her again as well? And I am. And I am, I, I am around all kinds of dogs and never had a sniff. So I'm not as allergic to this one as well as the other one. The other one was much worse. Oh, it was terrible. I was going through two boxes of Kleenex every day. I would try all the antihistamines, you know, and nothing worked. And I thought, okay, well, I don't have much of a choice. I'm just going to be sick the rest of my life. Or <laughs> Yeah, and actually, it only the allergies only started coming back about a couple months ago. Like for the first year that I had her, I really wasn't. There was no allergies whatsoever. But I don't know, just before I started painting, I don't know if you noticed, but I was playing with her, put her right up to my face, and give her a big fat kiss, and that's enough to start making it happen again. Experiment with a couple brush strokes. Just add a little variety. Maybe it looks too bright and cheery up there. I'm going to have to bring it down a notch. What if I put some green in the sky? Let's try that. Let's put some green right in the sky. Still to, I don't know what it is. Let's see.
Well, <laughs> I was going to get um, a Golden Doodle or whatever. To be honest, I just don't like them. I love Golden Retrievers and German Shepherds. The two hairiest dogs possible. They're my favorite by far. And uh, I just don't like the way the Golden Doodles look. They kind of piss me off. I don't like Poodles. Poodles I just find are they're like the assholes of dogs. And I, I know dogs really well. It's always the, the poodles that are just jerk-offs. They're just assholes. <laughs> that's the only way to describe it. You go to a dog park, it's the, the poodle's the one that's like barking annoyingly and, you know, just just being a jerk. I don't like the way they look with their stupid little ball tails and stuff. <laughs> I love all dogs, probably, except for poodles. They're just like, it's like that one annoying friend you have. Just, you tolerate them. But they just piss you off. <laughs> Fucking poodles. Stupid. <sighs> okay. Okay, we need to get some shit happening now with this chick down here, whatever the hell she is. And I need to make this much cooler. This, this whole area. I'm gonna figure this out. I gotta paint this in and make it look better. But her, what is she gonna be? Let's just let's just fuck this up a bit. Let's just fuck this up a bit. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like this. I think I'm, I'm, uh, huh. All right. What colors are you going to be? Let's see what yellow ochre looks like. Hey, Megan, which one was your project? What was the theme of your group project? the hell are you showing the art deco helios oh yeah cool right right totally i remember it very well yeah they actually did an art deco one uh the was it the last project <laughs> it was uh Meant to be like a, a mafia gangsters, um, not like headquarters sort of, in an Art Deco style. I think if she's lying down, if this is water, I fucked up that leg. The leg, she should be in the, it should come down like this. 
her legs should come down like this and then be in the water there. That's how it should be. Otherwise, her head's way too tilted up. She's like in a... Does that even look like her arm? Like, this has got to be like her arm coming out here. This looks weird. Ah, oh, who cares? Fuck it. How do they uh, now you mentioned well it's literally <laughs> literally to define it as we speak I'm waiting for the people that are in charge to tell me how they want to proceed but it's gonna be much more individualistic small groups of like three to four people and uh, Much more kind of do whatever you want. So it won't be, it won't be, it'll be a lot less like working in a studio. It'll be more like working on your uh, portfolio pieces, sort of. <laughs> I think I fucked that up. Wait, <laughs> she's like doing this. That's not good. Let me just see if I just mess this around a bit. I gotta. I think I'd have to lower her waist way down. Or if I make her hip turning over. Hey, Mark, what's up? I was just telling some people that how much I like French Canadians and I realized a whole bunch of my best friends are French Canadian. <clears throat> I don't know how that turned out. Some of the nice some of the best people you'll meet in the world are from East Canada. Kind of feels like the more east you go, the nicer they are. Till you finally get Newfoundland, where they're the like, they're the most down to earth, nice people you'll ever meet. Or Newfies. If 
that there is a guy I used to work out with who was huge. I was he was so much bigger than me <clears throat> when I was. I used to do a lot of taekwondo when I was young, like in my twenties. And he's from Newfoundland, and his nickname was Newfy. <laughs> no, Noof. And I, I was the only one that was could spar with him because I was I was also pretty good, not good, but I was not as good as him. But I was big. He was on the football team. So I, I would have to spar with him, and, I, and it was terrifying because the guy was so strong. But he was like these one of these just like huge guys who were also just such a sweet guy. Really nice guy, Noof. In fact, I don't even know his real name. It was just Noof. <clears throat> That's just too funny. I don't know his name. You're married to Noofy too? All right on. Cool. Yeah, there's a buddy uh, just down my street. Lives on the street, and he's Noof. And we always joke. Uh, I used to talk some good Noof because I went when I first went to art school. I went to Mount Allison University, which is in the East Coast in <coughs> New Brunswick. And there are a lot of East Coasters, so I, I picked up the dialect pretty good. <laughs> I can't do it anymore, but it's really distinctive once you get a hang of it. Bye. I used to say bye a lot. Bye. I can't remember what a bye means, but bye. Okay, so I'm going to try to make this a bit magically. La Noye the Drowned. Oh my god. She's not drowned. She's she's just submerged in the water. <laughs> you want me to drown her? Okay, Mark, let's drown her. Sick bastard. Okay, I'm going to try to make it magically now. Bring some magic in here. Kind of like my buddy, Vidal. Add some kind of like... Sparks some magically. <laughs> Mountains in Charlevoix. Charlevoix. Hey! Charlevoix. Esti Tapenac. Charlevoix. I don't even know what Charlevoix is. Is that a place, dude? Stealing, okay. Charlevoix Mountains in Charlevoix called Annoye Drowned. You get them drinking and it's a whole new language, right? <laughs> honk, 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 honk. These, oh, you mean where, where the Charlevoix beautiful mountains? Is that in um, Quebec? The Charlevoix mountains? I'm talking to Mark right now. Mark's my buddy in Quebec. He's a French Canadian. He's from Quebec. Your girl's taking sun. Yeah, she's she's getting a little uh, a little bit of sun. I 
I don't know if I like this little bit of sun thing I did at the bottom. I don't know if it seems to be... That'd be cool if she was a few inches in water. I get the feel of the yellow. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. That's that's totally it. At first, I was I did a I thought it was gonna be a full woman, and then it just looked more like she was in the water. So that's what I was kind of trying to make it more like that. We'll make it make it more like that. Something uh, I don't like it. This I don't like that. That's not it's not working for me right now. Something too flat about it. Wow, where did all the red go? It went under. It disappeared. All the red just just went away. It's, uh, where did it? Sounds like a song. Where did all the red go? the red go it was there one moment and then it was gone the red go. Hmm. Huh. I gotta think about this. Something's bugging me about this. Something just needs to be woken up. Something needs to be woken up. Something needs to be...
Hey, no problem, Raving Madness. Take it easy. I think I have black. Do I even have black? I could use a, a little bit of black. There's no way I didn't buy black. That's not possible. I put some of that right there. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Here's the black. Black, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take my super thin brush. Look at this baby brush. Look how cute this thing is. Look how tiny. Put it next to my thumb. I don't know if you can see that. It's really thin. Okay. Because I think what it needs is a horizon. Needs a horizon.
right, baby. Baby. I can hear you. All right, man, off. Happy painting, Josh. All right, thanks, Megan. See you later.
Oops. Okay. I was just gonna say I don't think I got any orange, but look, hello. That's what I wanted. Ah, shit balls. Okay.
All right. I think I'm going to stop. I enjoyed this painting. This was fun to do. Great Instagram, man. It's always nice to see someone committed to creating such a way. Hey, thanks, dude. Ascend, ascending Stormart. Ascending Stormart. Oh, Ascending Storm Art. <laughs> On my screen, it says uh, Ascending Store, and the next, next <laughs> few words are Mart. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see over here. It says Ascending Store Mart. <laughs> All right. All right. I think I'm going to wrap this sucker up. This, something I always forget to do is sign my work. So this time I'm going to I'm going to sign it. I think uh orange or yellow will be good. Let's try yellow. I always have to do it backwards cuz I suck so bad at my own handwriting. So okay, I'm going to put a, a 19 Oh, I don't know if that's showing up very well. Shit. Maybe I should do it dark. Yeah, I think I'll do it dark. Well, no, maybe if I do it light yellow. Yellow or dark? Well, I gotta sneeze. That's all I know is I gotta sneeze. <laughs> oh, boy. Allergies to this furry ball over here. Or I could do, look at this color, Titan Green Pale. Let's just take a look at this Titan Green Pale. Whoa, it really is a Titan Green Pale. Actually, that kind of, let's put some Titan Green Pale in the sky. I think that'd be nice. Let's just take a look. Whoa, Titan Green Pale. Kind of cool. Okay, I gotta stop. I just gotta stop. Pew, 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 pew. Just a couple more pews, and we're good to go. All right, Titan Green Pale. Do you want to make those curves less obvious? All right. Okay, let's try putting my signature in Titan Green Pale. So let's see if it shows up. Here, let me zoom in. Can I zoom in more? Boop, 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 boop. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that's a little bit too too close because it's getting all blurry. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna use a let me use a marker instead. No, no, use pen. No, use pen. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, start with the 19. No, 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 19, 19. I bought that 45. There was a song called 19. It came out in the 90s, 80s probably. It was about the average age of the soldier of Vietnam was 19, 19. No, 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 19, 19. And I bought the uh, 45 album of that. Okay, let's do an N. This is how poorly I can write. M, A, oh, I hate writing my signature. It looks like a two-year-old did this. M, M, A, N. So we got to do an M now. So M looks like Mon. I gotta put an A here. D R U C K. Okay, let's put a K. It's like I have a uh, mentally challenged and I can't. K D R U C C D R U. I know. I know. It's not D R. R, R, and then D. Thank God it's over. Oh, I hate 
doing this part so much. Druckman. There we go. Done. I don't know if I like that color. Let's just see. All right. Let's just say this sucker's done. It's a woman in the water. Her boob is a little bit high, isn't it? It doesn't even... Ah, fuck it. I kind of want to fix her face a little bit. Her face looks a little... It just needs like one stroke on her face to make it a little bit less craptastical. Let me just quickly make some skin color. My paint is almost all dry. So she has cheekbones. Ah, well, fuck it. I don't know if I improved that at all, actually. Oops. 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 Oh, fuck me. Keep on fucking it up a little bit here. All right. Let's call it quits. Definitely has got some Van Gogh vibe, doesn't it? The swirly worries. That's okay. I like the Van Gogh. Probably two Van Gogh. Shit. Oh man, you're just copying Van Gogh, dude. Yeah, well. My response is, eh, kiss my ass. I don't care. Cause I like me some Van Gogh. Okay. All right, we're done. We're done. Look at the swirly whirly over here. Not quite sure if I like that swirl. It's kind of distracting me a little bit. What if I just smudged it out a bit? What if I just... Can I smudge it out? No. Let's take some finger paint and just sort of... Okay. There we go. Now it's perfect. All right. We're done. Just about two hours. And we got my signature, which is freaking like a child. It's a little bit, yeah, it's very Van Gogh-y, but it's got my Redon. Oh, love the sun, sun rays and contrast and dark colors. Yeah, me too. I like that. It's like, whoa. Like, just crazy nuclear holocaust of a sunset. And then you got this like happy kind of what the fuck are those things? Who knows? Then you got the weird woman, sort of in the, yeah, she's in the water. She's definitely in the water. All right, I'm gonna take a break. What time is it? Twelve. It's noon. I'm gonna clean up. I wish I could just keep going with these. I do have other work I have to do. I could probably improve this a bit. Actually, let me just... I think I kind of... Should I bother? Nah, okay, I'm just going to leave it. I could probably make it better down here, but I like it. I think it's kind of cool. I like how it's like off. There's this insane kind of sky happening up here with these things going on. You kind of get lost in these weird lights of... UFO stuff, or what are those things? Who knows? The composition's not bad. I like that dark little corner. And I like the fact your eye's then drawn down to her, and your eye comes around with the little waves of light, and then comes back up. Gets lost in this swirl, and you're kind of swirling around here. But 
that's a tiny. Th I, I need to fix that tiny bit. Just a tiny bit of. Where's my paintbrush? There she is. Just gotta fix a tiny little thing. That'll be done. I don't like that little bit of darkness on the top of there. So let me just do a little bit of blue and fix this. Yeah, that's better. Better. Okay. Huh. You know what's weird is that the horizon is down here. And it kind of comes up a bit. You think anyone will even notice the water? Well, I'm going to say, I know what I can do. Let me just a little I'll bring the come on. I'm new to Twitch and I'm finding other artists. Help me zone out while I paint. Pretty pretty fun stuff. Cool man. I would say I'm pretty new to Twitch too. I have I just started adding it to my stream. Not long ago. <sighs> yeah, it's a little better. Okay. Okay, now we're done. All right. Well, Thanks for watching. How's that paint on my face? Look at that. Nice job, doofus. So here's this little one. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I'm going to think of a name. All right. Peace out. Take it easy. Bye.